if you can influence plant growth early in the season? Could that lead to an impact all year long? Well, of course it can. We're going to talk about one of those things, gibberellic acid, that could influence early season growth in certain crops. Gibberellic acid is something that naturally occurs in plants. So that's great news because it extends the stem. In other words, stem elongation, that's heavily dependent on what are the gibberellic acid levels in the plant. Well, the bad news is when your plant is really cold, when the soil is cold, the air temperature is cold, there isn't a lot of gibberellic acid getting produced. So let's say you have a pasture, or maybe it's silage corn, and you want more tonnage. More tonnage means more food for the livestock, which means more profit for you. So what can you do to get the gibberellic acid levels higher in the plant? The best thing to do is just flat out put more gibberellic acid on the plant when the temperatures are cold. What we find is if you're able to treat that plant when it's roughly 50 to 65 degrees approximately, so I'm talking basically early in the spring or late in the fall if it's pasture grass for example, then you absolutely can increase stem elongation, you will increase tonnage. Well, there are a lot of gibberellic acid products out there on the market, and they're at various concentrations. So to say, oh, you use this much of a rate, it's kind of hard to do. Uh, one of the more concentrated ones that we've found is a product that we've used for a number of years. It's called Rise Up Smart Grass. So Rise Up Smart Grass is from Valent, and we have used this at really pretty low levels, and we've seen good gains. So this is the reason why we're talking about this today. I also wanted to talk to you about it today because, hey, it is early in the spring. We're about at the time of year when you should be spraying this, but if you get too late, you don't want to use it. We found that it doesn't really seem to pay very well, at least for us at this point, when we're spraying when the weather's warm. Again, the reason why is because as the weather warms up, the plant is naturally producing lots of gibberellic acid. So again, you want to spray this relatively early in the spring or again late in the fall when temperatures do cool down. We don't see it making a big difference in terms of the nutritional value of the, the forage that you're feeding. We don't see that, oh wow, it's going to have lots more protein or it's going to have lots more micronutrients in it or something like that. Yeah, but that. Darren, the grass can look a little more yellow and maybe even the corn a little more yellow after you spray it. Well, sure, whenever you've got rapid growth, and we see that during the growing season. Just watch your cornfield. When we have some times during the season where the corn looks a little more pale and other times where it looks a little darker. Yeah, when it's growing that quickly, especially early in the season when it's tough pulling nutrients out, it's probably going to look a little bit more pale for a little bit of time. But you think about it, you've got the same amount of nutrients in there just spread out a little bit more. Well, the, the thing that I wanted to get to, though, is maybe you need a few more nutrients. If you're going to have a bunch more tonnage, maybe you need a little bit more in terms of nutrient early in the season. That's something you can at least think about. The other thing that I want you to consider here is, well, it does affect tonnage. It does not seem to affect overall grain yield on average, at least what we've found so far. Now, it's not to say some studies haven't shown grain yield increase, but where we see this really fit is for people who are after tonnage. So if you want more grass production, if you want more corn silage, that seems to be, to us at least, where this fits best. Well, gibberellic acid is just one of the many different plant growth regulators or plant growth hormones that are out there on the market today, but it's one that we've used for a number of years and we've seen some good gains, especially early in the season and later on into the fall. One other thing that's always paid for us is keeping our weed of the week out of our fields. We'll show you how to stop this weed coming up later in the show.